How beautiful is it to be in this beautiful basilica? The clergy that are here, it's my honor to be in front of you. It's the ambassadors and representatives of countries afar. Thank you for coming. Commander, you and I have more in common than you know. My sister, too, died of cancer. Sadly, um, uh, pancreatic cancer. And she, too, um, was treated at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Um, you know, um, as I'm listening about your sister, Miriam's, and the, and the work that you have done to change the lives of so many people, I kind of think to myself, I'm not very worthy of standing up here, am I? Uh, because what you have done has made your parents proud, your family proud, but all those little boys and girls, all those little boys and girls that live here or in the West Bank or in Gaza, wouldn't have a shot without you. Would die maybe without you. So as we sit here in this beautiful church, and we're about ready to listen to the angels sing, they should really be singing for you and for what you've built and what you've organized. And I should take a moment to thank you for everything you've done. They say, Yatiko la Afif, which means wish you for strength. This is you. This is what you have done. We, in a small way in the United States, have helped you and help you help others. And that's what a, this is what it's all about. It's about the world coming together and helping people help other people. So as we begin to celebrate this beautiful concert tonight, I, as the American ambassador, on behalf of President Biden and all of our embassy staff, I want to wish all of you health, happiness, and peace. Merry Christmas. <laughs>